Hey guys, so um, I'm back this week. I look a hot mess. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna lie. So, my nephew is over today. I'm keeping him from my sister and brother-in-law to work because I'm off, but my boys are with their dad until Wednesday, which will be Wednesday when this is posted, so they'll be back home, and I'm super excited about that because I do miss them. But um, my husband is also home, and they're downstairs watching Hotel Transylvania 3. And if you hear anything in the background, you'll know that's probably exactly what it is. So I may have some people that like peep in, one of the two of them, because my husband likes to peek in on me. He says he needs to make sure that I'm smiling and that I'm talking real enthusiastically whenever I'm videoing. So he'll check in on me. I'm sure, before I get through this video. If he doesn't, I'll be very surprised. But anyway, I wanted to come to you today. I wanted to bring you some other things that I got through my shipment of part of the order that I did several weeks ago. Y'all, okay, so I'm going to sound like a broke record today. I realized that, but when I place this order, I place this order at one time and then I've had bits and pieces of it come through at different times. Thus, the reason why some of these products, the brand names are the same, but the product is different. So I wanna share with you what I have and what I'm using today. Uh, most of those, um, what am I trying to say? Most of those products are Physician's Formula and Flower beauty let me see no i really only have one flower beauty product that's new but um two of the others are physicians formula i'm not real sure about the shades because i am purchasing this online so it's very difficult to tell what would be appropriate for me um but we're going to make the best of it i did really like physicians formula i loved mostly their formula and how it applies when it comes to BB creams and the foundations that I have used before. But I've got something new today and this is gonna be the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Liquid Foundation. This looks so, so light, but I'm pretty pale right now, so maybe we'll make it work. However, the concealer that I got is also Physicians Formula and it does look much darker. So we may have an issue there. I'm not sure, but I can guarantee you that we will. But this is the Mineral Wear Flow Through Antimicrobial Sponge it has. This is SPF 15. This says it's talc free. Oh, mirror included on the cap. What? Medium coverage, natural, flawless finish. Let me see. Okay, two-in-one application. So it has a flow-through application, which it has is a removable sponge, or it has a fingertip application. Yes, because I am real weird about sponges that they put with products. So this says the talk is talc. Gentle talc-free, minimalist formula allows skin to breathe, can help minimize the risk of irritation and outbreaks, provides the look of flawless complexion with a natural matte finish. Minerals such as titanium dioxide and iron oxides help achieve a smooth second skin feel and finish. Delivers an incredibly soft and smooth application that perfectly matches your complexion for comfortable all day wear. A daily dose of vitamins and minerals, derivatives of vitamins A and E, Natural antioxidants help to protect and condition the skin. Infused with mineral water for added comfort. Professional application made easy, pure, and safe. Ultra convenient and versatile tube includes a removable flow through sponge. Used with sponge for easy blending and effortless application without a mess. Used without sponge for targeted fingertip application. Ultra hygienic sponge contains an antimicrobial agent that forms a protective shield over the applicator to help keep the product pure and safe. Well, that's kind of interesting. This is hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, oil-free, non-comedogenic, gluten-free, dermatologist-approved for extra-sensitive or breakout-prone skin. 
Directions say lightly squeeze the tube so that the foundation flows through the sponge. Apply foundation directly to the face using attached sponge applicator and blend evenly until desired coverage is achieved. For drier skin types, apply moisturizer prior to foundation. Lightly brush on powder over the face and neck to set foundation. After use, replace cap on the tube. Okay, so I've already primed my face with my usual primers. And I've primed my eyelids as well for when we do that. Okay, so this comes like it came in that box and then it comes with this little flip case, I guess, to protect it as well. I don't really know like if that's the color the foundation's supposed to be, but I hope not. Okay, so on the lid, there is that little, it's got a little film that you pull off, but there's a mirror. That's interesting. And I'm going to sneeze a lot because the pollen, <coughs> goodness gracious, I'm so sorry, is killing me. Okay, maybe the foundation is going to be a little different, but this is the tube. I don't know, like. Okay, I was like, does this just come off? I was about to rip that off. Here's the sponge. And then you can like unscrew that. And it's got this kind of tip, which I really like because I like to use my own beauty blenders. But I'm going to try this out and see. This is pretty firm. I don't really know if you're supposed to wet that, but I would assume you're not. So anyway, let's just try it and see. Okay, so here the product comes, if you can see that. And it's pretty thick, and it is darker, thank God. So we'll just have to work with this. This is supposed to be like natural beige, but everybody's natural beige is something different. So let's just see. Okay, well first of all, the sponge is gonna soak up the majority of this. <laughs> that just kind of like went everywhere. What? What in the what? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you like this is so stiff. I'm, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna get out my beauty blender and we're gonna use it. So, Beauty Blender, here we go. So, it looks like a pretty dark, actually, coming out of the tube, but as you can tell, it's really not that dark. I don't, like, feel like there's a no scent to it whatsoever. So for those of you that's bothered by the smell of sunscreen or paint thinner or whatever flavors you've gotten your foundation in before, this is actually fragrance free for real, for real. So what have you guys been doing? Uh, we have been taking it easy over the weekend. We didn't have the kids. They are at their dad's for an extended stay during this time. We're trying to, you know, take turns with them being out of school and the daycare closed. Um, so, they went to their dad's on Wednesday, and they'll be there until this coming Wednesday before they're back. So, Monty and I were both off, and we needed to get out of the house. So, we took a road trip Saturday um, to Natchez, Mississippi, and it is where he and I got married. Um, 
and most everything was closed. So, I mean, we didn't do anything but ride. And we did pick up a to-go order from Fat Mama's to Molly's because that's one of the places that we ate after we got married. Like, I don't know, maybe the next day. But just kind of reminiscing. And then we went and sat out by the Mississippi River and watched it flow for a while and just talked. It was a beautiful day. And there just wasn't really anybody around. The people that were out there were very far apart and really social distancing but everybody needs some fresh air so we did that and then came home and just cooked and we've watched movies it was bad weather over the weekend it thankfully did not get bad here where we live but a lot of places in south mississippi got hit pretty hard so y'all please be in prayer for those families that were affected by that because it was pretty devastating especially right now when everything's going on. It's just already a little cray cray. All right, so my very first impression of this, is this okay? I don't see it really doing anything like wonderful for my skin. It does look, you know, more mattifying than some of the other foundations that I've used lately. But I think that we can work with it. Okay. Or at least we're going to have to today. I did wash my face before I used this. Um, before I put my primer on and such. So, we'll see. Okay, the next thing that we're going to use is Physician's Formula Super BB All-in-One Beauty Balm Concealer. This is different than anything I've used before. Um, especially with the Physician's Formulas. This says 10 plus beauty benefits, smoothing, concealing, correcting, anti-dark circles, anti-puffiness, light, uh, oh, line softening, brightening, perfecting, protecting, long wearing with the SPF of 30. Comes in this cute little glittery iridescent box. So let's try it out. This is real weird. Oh, hold up. Oh, okay. So it comes out with this little brush, which is real weird. I was wondering why this had like a twist on it. Okay, and we may be here all day doing this. This is, wow, like the Wording and stuff is just like rubbing off because of something. Okay, so this has clearly never been used, but that's like super oily. And like whatever that oil is, it's rubbing the words off. Mm. All right, carry on. I was going to say this is in a 0.14 ounce. Click, click, click. We're going to be here all day trying to get this out. My gracious. Okay. Y'all. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize this was going to take forever. Okay, here we go. Starting to see some product. And it looks super, super dark. So, I don't know why my camera's not on the focus real good today. Here we go. Ooh, it looks very dark, actually. Let's just see. Yep. Oh, no. What color is this? Mm. 
this actually doesn't say anywhere on here what color. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, medium deep. What? It's like a very, very tiny, tiny print, like right up there. Okay, so, whoops. That does smell kind of funny. It smells like, I don't know what. It All right, so, huh? Well, I'm not planning on going anywhere today, but that's, mm, not gonna work. But let's just blend this out. And I may have to go over the top of that with my e.l.f. Camo Hydrating concealer just to get a lighter color but let's see how this applies so I think I told y'all a couple of weeks ago that I planted a garden um something that I grew up doing every year is helping in the garden at my house and my grandparents and I really missed that because it was very therapeutic for me to like work in it. Um, and it's just so exciting to see the things grow. And to take care of something. Okay, so the formula for this is actually going on really good. I'm gonna try to hit this dark spot up again. Of course, with the dark concealer, that might not be helping, so. Um, have any of you done that, tried it? have considered it. Like, I think I'm gonna go out today and drive some stakes in the ground, which is, for those of you that may not know, like just some wood boards or sticks and tie them together at the top um, so that my zucchini plants can run up them. I've seen that done. And we do it with peas and butter beans and string beans and stuff like that, you know, all the time, but I saw that that was a good thing to do for zucchini because then your zucchinis will just kind of hang and then you can pick them easier. So I'm gonna try that out. So actually the formula for this BB concealer is actually very good. I will say it's just not very light. But seriously, like considering the color that it was, it isn't standing out super dark compared to the foundation that I used. But I am going to hit up some places on my face with the e.l.f. camo concealer because it is lighter just to try to give me that highlight kind of. appearance so I must say what that does for us have any of you tried any of the products that I've mentioned in my videos to see how they work for you I am interested to know what those are and your thoughts on them if you have. It doesn't have to be something that I liked to use. It might be something that you want to use. I just wanted to try. I mean, everybody's skin type is different. So you might like a product that I don't necessarily. Okay. So that looks a little bit better to me. All right. We're 
gonna move right along. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup real quick for you so that you're not watching me do something you've probably seen me do eight times already. So I'm gonna try to make that quick and then I'll show you what my new products are in just a minute.
Okay, now that my eyeshadow is done, um, I'm going to set my foundation with this L'Oreal Hydra Perfect. It's Perfecting Loose Powder. And there's pretty much, um, this is in the color translucent. There's really like no other description to it, but it comes in this really pretty um, tub. And I wanna set my face with that. So, okay, screw top, comes with a little um, puff. And then it's got the sifter top, which I do like. So you can kind of control how much comes out. Or you pop it out like that, and it dumps all over you. Um, so make sure that you're like holding that down as you're trying to pull that, because I was not. And I didn't think that that would come out, but it did. And so I am now wearing, <laughs> thankfully, not a whole lot, but anyway, it smells, oh crap. I'm trying to clean this mess up. It smells good. That's a good thing, right? Shoot. All right. So I'm going to put the lid kind of back on it a little bit and shake it just a little bit to get some up in the top. Oh, it smells real flowery. So not, not strong, but Reminds you of your granny kind of smell. And I don't mind that. So, if you do, then this probably is not for you. Let me see how this is sitting on this. Okay. Wow, it looks really good. On, what is in my hair? Probably some powder. Looks really good with this foundation. Okay, so I'm happy with that. L'Oreal Hydra Perfect setting powder. Nice. Let me put that right there. I'm just dropping stuff all over the place. Y'all know. Be so clumsy. And then I'm going to bronze my face up with my bronzer, which is not new. Shoot, what time is that? We have to go get lunch. Let me see. I really like this. Wow. Like I really don't know like how much you can tell. I always like to do the pictures afterwards in a natural light a little bit closer where you can see more detail because I just feel like you can't really tell on here how good or bad something really looks. Um, I have to sneeze again. My gracious. Let me do my mascara really fast. And I'm going to show you this lip product that I have.
I don't necessarily like the applicator on the concealer. I don't like it at all, honestly. But the concealer actually looks really good and blended very well with that foundation. Now, you know, keep in mind, both of those were Physician's Formula. So, sometimes you have luck when you get the same. And I've always tried to kind of find a foundation and a concealer that were the same name brand, but they don't always work out. So, you know, you mix and match and you find what works for you. I like this e.l.f. camo concealer, but I have not been a huge fan of the e.l.f. foundation. So, you know, I don't use them in conjunction and that's okay. Now I'm going to share with you the Flower Miracle Matte Lip. Y'all know last week I shared with you a lip liner and was that a lipstick? I believe. And the lip liner was a bit orange. The lipstick was a really good, pretty neutral color. This is one of the colors that I bought to go with it and I didn't bring the... Yes, I did. Here's a lip liner. Let's put this lip liner back on because I want to try it with this. This is the Flower Petal Pout Lip Liner in Nude. So let's try that again with this because this has got like a bit of a darker undertone than I was hoping for a nude lip liner. And so it kind of stood out with the lipstick that I had last week, which is not really what I want it to do. I want a nude lip liner that will line my lips and give it that perfect kind of like precision look. But Maybe I'm looking for something that like matches to a T the lip color of the product that I'm wearing because you know I don't want to always wear something that like you can tell you have a lip liner on. So this is that Miracle Matte Lip and this is in the color Almost Nude. And it looks a lot like this color, so let's just see. Oh no. Oh my god. What whose nude color is this? Who is that color? Who? Who? Kind of smells like chocolate. What in the God's name? No, on the color, okay. Ugh, how did that happen? Ugh. Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't know anybody whose nude color is this. What? Oh. Oh my God. I feel like a clown. Look at that. Uh-uh. This is like chalk. It doesn't feel like chalk, but it looks like chalk. It looks like a peach chalk. And I have nothing up here to fix this. <laughs> I'm like looking around like, what can I put on my lips to make this better? Nothing. Okay, look at it. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all, no. This is bad. It's cakey. Oh my God. Look at that now. Ew. No. Flower Miracle Matte Lip. Pass. Mm. But anyway, here's the rest of my look for today. And I might do something with my hair in a minute. <laughs> Probably not, but I might. But anyway, y'all, like we're just sitting at the house today. We're not doing anything. But let me go take some pictures of this face after I fix these lips. And let you be the judge. Okay. Thank y'all for watching. I'm April with All Things Beautiful. And I'm so excited to bring this to y'all every week. Affordable products that mostly bring their game to the table, but not always. See y'all next time. Bye.